the international community must make it clear to the Russian leaders that the situation today is totally irregular and unsustainable. In order to push them to discuss a compromise, it is essential to clearly state the reality of the situation on the ground. This is why we are asking that the Russian military build up within the international borders of Georgia be qualified as illegal occupation of a sovereign territory. Many na European nations, as well as the United States, already have done so. Because if it's not a mili military occupation, then what is it? Is it a military tourist when you have tens of thousands of troops, missiles, tanks deployed illegally against your consent in your emptied from the population territory? Equally, the brutal campaigns that have expelled hundreds of thousands of Georgian citizens from the occupied territories should be qualified as, hopefully, as, should be qualified as illegal acts of ethnic cleansing. I call, therefore, on the Russian leaders to make the choice of the future. They could play such a major positive role in the ongoing transformation of our common region, accepting other countries as partners and not vassals. We all want, I personally want Russia as a partner and not as an enemy. Nobody has a greater stake than us in seeing Russia turn into a country that truly operates within the concert of nations, respects international law, and this is often connected, upholds basic human rights. This is why I wholeheartedly support the efforts of Europeans and American leaders to engage Russia into more constructive relationships. Our conflict has done nothing to harden feelings between our two peoples. I want to tell the Russian people that they will always be welcome in Georgia as partners, as tourists, as students, as businessmen, as journalists, as simply as friends, but not as, an, as occupation forces.